You know, I grew up in a small apartment in New York City. Uh, my only exposure really to wildlife was watching Sunday nights, uh, my favorite television show, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. That was like going to church for me. The next real exposure I had to any kind of real animals was going to the Bronx Zoo. And my mother would take me there uh, by train. And there's something that happens when you look at an animal eye to eye. There's a connection there that's so much stronger than a book or a television show or a photograph. And that planted a seed in me. And that's what made me realize the importance of zoos. Bottom line is this, in a perfect world, we wouldn't need any zoos. In a perfect world, everybody would be able to go to Africa to see an elephant in the Serengeti, go to the Arctic to see a polar bear, go to the Amazon to see a jaguar. We don't live in that perfect world. So zoos provide windows into that world that help plant seeds in people, especially kids, to grow up into the passion that they're gonna to have to care for this wildlife. And that's my passion. My passion is to care about wildlife, to protect it for future generations. Not to keep wildlife in zoos, but to make sure wildlife can always exist in the wild where it belongs. So I came down here, moved here when I was 12 years old. And I remember I grew up literally, literally four miles west of the zoo. There was a sign that went up, bond issue passed, new zoo being built. I said, that's what I wanna do. I've gotta follow that. I went to the University of Florida, I was left, actually left in my senior year because I was offered a job as a zookeeper at the Cranon Park Zoo, the predecessor to this place. And I started there as a zookeeper. And, you know, my father said, what are you doing? You're, you're leaving college to, to shovel poop? And I said, Pop, it's, it's getting your foot in the door. I want to learn about these animals. I want to get the experience. And that led one thing to the other. We moved down here to the zoo. Part of being that whole, you know, it was kind of like a Noah's Ark, bringing the animals from Kibis Game here and uh, realized that this is an incredible passion. But the passion, again, goes way beyond just being an attraction of the zoo. I want it to be a conduit for people to become impassioned about wildlife. I think that's, that's the primary mission that we have. At the end of the day, if the zoo is the last place that people can see animals safely, then zoos as institutions have failed. Our primary mission needs to be to ensure that animals exist in the wild where they belong and that future generations can see them. Because there's an old saying that says, in the end, we protect what we love, we love what we understand, and we understand what we're taught. I believe it's my mission to help teach people to understand and love animals. Because another saying says we've not inherited this earth from our parents, we're borrowing it from our children.